track very, very well. For a preview, let's get down now to Steve Burns. All right, guys, well, we're down to it. Tell us about it now. You know, I'm telling you, we're just taking this thing one round at a time. Here we are in the finals. Can't say enough for this mega-powered Ford gunslinger. We've been putting down some awesome passes. We've been coming in this corner here just like gangbusters. Truck's been working good. Can't say enough for the old coilover truck. Man, we've been coming in here putting on a hell of a show for TNN Motorsports, Pace Motorsports, everybody here. Dennis, we're down to it. Are you in good shape? How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, that, that pass that I just made was probably the best one that I made all night. Pretty smooth turn. I think it's going to be me and Gunslinger in the finals. Scott's got a short wheelbase. He's cutting his track tight. He's doing a good job. we got to go over here and battle about the lanes right now. If he gets his lane, he'll probably win. But we'll see. We've got another little malfunction with the digger. We've got a, uh, we got a pinion support bearing a retainer that's broke in it, which it was broke this round right here. And the crew guys, they're checking it out. And I told them, hey, we'll run it. So it'll be a wing and a prayer. Maybe it'll go. Maybe it'll blow. Who knows? But we cannot stop and fix it now. There's not enough time to replace the differential in it. So we're just going to cross our fingers, hope for the best, and, hey, we'll either make history or be history. All right, well, we'll see. There's a little problem on... Uh... Grave digger Dennis Anderson did not sound all that confident about this final run. Well, he knows he's got a truck that needs repair. He also knows he can still get a lot out of it. But you know the talk about the lane. Scott Hartsock has been staying in the same lane all night. He's run it beautifully. That's where he was talking about going over and battling. And indeed, Gunslinger will come out and have the same lane he's had all night. So this is a great advantage for Hartsock. We'll see if it uh, pays off. We're ready to go with the Monster Truck Finals. You look at Grave Digger, Dennis Anderson, 17 years of doing this. Many would argue that he is the very best at it. Scott, Hots Scott Hartsuck, who has run this track so well tonight, and Gunslinger. In Indianapolis to determine the champion. We've got it down to these two as we head for St. Louis. You know that $100,000 Pace Motorsports championship point fund gets divided up at the end of the year and a lot of it has to do with what will happen as we go to st louis We've got the word now that 16 monster trucks will be in st louis along with our cameras on april the third it's going to be a great wow. night this is a great night here at the rca dome in indianapolis the crowd is ready we are ready we wait for everything to get set for the green flag to fall on the monster truck finals in this great monster truck racing we've had here tonight. Again, experience, if that's the factor, Grave Digger should be the man. And you know, we're still trying to find out what happened to that old championship flag that he and Gary Porter used to trade back and forth. That story won't go away either, but now we got a green flag. We do have the green flag and Grave Digger takes the early lead, but coming into the turn, oh, Digger goes on two wheels. Grave Digger has turned on its side. Dennis Anderson, in an effort to put a little extra oomph into it, turned it on its side. Gunslinger is our winner. Dennis Anderson looks to be okay, but a tough, tough break for the Grave Digger. He said he was going to make history or be history, and in this final, he was history. Yeah, he was. How about Scott Hartsock? The Gunslinger has now won two in a row, but let's watch on the replay. He just gets in. You know the truck wasn't 100% anyway. He's trying to get more out of it than it's got. And once it gets up too far, there's no way to save it. Over it goes. Well, let's go into the end truck and we'll see what happens. You wow. can see it there. Kind of what a great sideways. view that was from the camera. And uh, now, sideways, our winner is Gunslinger Scott Hartsuck. Let's catch up with him now. Steve Burns is down in the arena. Boy, you got you were strong all night long, and you didn't let him down in the finals. Hey, that's oh, right. <laughs> we call, we came in here. You can call me lucky. You can call me happy or whatever. All we know is we took this win. This is two in a row for us. We come out here cock locked and ready to rock. You know, seems like we got a motor problem here. You know, it went dead on us there after the cars. But hey, you know this old mega power Ford did its job tonight. We brought these big guns in here, and we came out to victor. Cock locked and ready to rock works for me. Congratulations. You got it. Thanks, DNN Motorsports. Pace, United States Hot Rod, everybody here. Everybody's been a great people. Everybody at home, thanks. Well, congratulations to Scott Hartsuck, who gets a uh, friendly handshake there from Dennis Anderson. Here's our Maalox Bennett, no doubt about it. <laughs> it was Digger. I wonder where we're going with this.
Grave Digger in the finals as you get a look at probably a place you'll never see a monster truck from again. What a great shot our crew has been able to put together for you as he goes up on his side and over on his lid. We had to pay that cameraman an extra amount of money, I think. You know? Great job he did. <laughs> Let's go to Steve now. He's with Dennis. Dennis, you said before the last round, the final run, final pass, that you may have had a problem. Did that hurt you in the last pass? No, I don't think so. We, uh, we had a pinion problem, but coming into the turn, I think I just got off of everything too much. Let it come to a little slide there, and it just built up some under the wheel. Flipped over. I won the lane choice between Scott. I figured, hell, I stood a chance then. Scott's cutting those corners good with a little short wheelbase truck, but hey, when I come in there and dumped her over, it was all over but the whole grave digger screaming then, you know. Did, did you push it too hard knowing that you said he was really cutting the corners tight? Did you push it too hard? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I ran any harder than I've been running as far as coming down the straightaway. I made a, I may have ducked into the turn just a little bit harder. I just think I got out of sync. I didn't I never got a rhythm down all night anyway. Yeah, there's not much left of the old grave digger right now. No, it's not. It's not too bad, though. We'll get it ready. We got another big meet next weekend, and Scott will be there. Hopefully, it'll be me and him in the finals, and I'll put him in his place, hopefully. Great show. Thanks a lot. All right, congrats to uh, Dennis Anderson for a strong run. Well, let's go down for one final thought now from Steve Burke. Well, Scott Hartsock in the gunslinger. Boy, he was loaded for bear tonight, and he wins again here in 1999. Next week, I don't know. How can you top this week's show? Next week, I see pro stadium action. I see some monster truck action. But one thing we know for sure, it's going to be good. I want to thank Dan Moriarty for letting me fill in. And as usual, I want to thank Scott Douglas and the Hog Daddy, Mike Hogwood. Uh, thank you, Steve. We'll be back in uh, New Orleans next week. It'll be fun. For Scott Douglas and Steve Burns, I'm Mike Hogwood. Thanks for joining us on Monster Jam.